Hi, I'm the Cannibal Pickle, and today I'm going to show you how to make cheater taters. And cheater taters are like twice baked potatoes minus all the work because I decided that I don't really care about the skins. Yeah, that's where the nutrition is, but the taste is all in the potato. So I started making them with mashed potato mix. And since Trader Joe's doesn't always carry it, we're going Idaho. Um, and different boxes of mix um, have different amounts of salt. So I'm gonna taste it to see how much salt or whether or not we even need salt. Hmm. Maybe we'll add a little bit of salt to that. So to start off with, you need to have had um, a, um, four tablespoons of butter sitting out, kind of getting soft so that you can mix that up. You need a pan to cook it in. This is gonna give us four servings right there. If you're doing four servings, you need one egg. Well, according to this, and yes, I'm going to use actual measuring cups today. I'm going to start with measuring cups. Um, to make four servings, I need one and a third cup of dry mix, and I need two thirds a cup of milk, but it also says one and a third cup of water, and I'm doing all milk. So I'm going to do two cups of milk. And then you're going to need cheese. I usually would use American and Parmesan as well, but I'm short on cheese. So we're doing the Trader Joe's shredded three cheese blend. And the Swiss and Gruyere that we made for our grilled cheese sandwiches. A little bit of salt. And did I already say that? And um, yeah, it's a little crowded here. I'm gonna butter this pan and measure out the potato flakes. And then I will come back. We're scooping! <laughs> one third. So I'm not gonna dirty two cups. So instead of using one cup and a third a cup, I'm gonna do four thirds cups. Yes, that's right. Math, people. And four thirds more or less. Put this somewhere. Helps. Over there for now. And we're gonna do two cups of milk. But I have discovered that it makes a big mess if you just pour it all in directly. So I'm gonna pour it in a little bit at a time. And I'll come back to you as soon as I actually have my um, blender out. I forgot to get the mixer out. So one second. Okay, okay so mixer. Yes, we're gonna start with um, adding just a little bit of milk in there because as I have discovered, it just, Ladders everywhere. Mix it just a little to get it. Okay. And I'm going to keep doing this like this until all that milk's in there. Where I know it's not going to just fly out of the bowl at me. And so I'll come back when that's all okay, mixed. So in. I um I mix the milk in little by little and add a little bit of splatter over there but not nearly what i have had before so now i'm going to go ahead and put cheese in and this isn't as much as i would like but i'm going to dump that whole thing in there maybe okay. that's like half a cup or something maybe like a third of a cup use whatever cheeses you like make it as cheesy as you like and now we're going to take swiss and because I've got more of it, actually I'm gonna put about the same amount. It won't be as cheesy as I usually like it, but. So that much cheese. Then I'm gonna mix it up and see how it tastes and figure out if I want more salt in there or not. And then I will come back. Hey, I forgot to tell you to turn on the oven. I always forget to tell you that. Make it like 400. 400 degrees. And I get impatient and I don't like to wait. So 
we're gonna put it right in as soon as this is done. But I'm gonna taste that and see if it's um, salty enough. Not salty enough. So let's put some salt in there. It needs it. Not salt. And I'm going to put a little more milk in there too because it see it, it's kind of like dry looking now and I don't like dry potatoes. I like them creamy. Next in. Let's see how that goes. Mucho mejor, no? More milk in there. I put just a, another dash in now. At last, por fin, el egg. Oh, sorry, not el egg. <laughs> um, uvo. Yo no sé, no. I huevo. can't remember. Huevo. Si, sí, huevo. Some huevos. So, un huevo. And, um, We'll mix that up and then we'll come back when we're ready to put it in the pan and open. all right that is mixed and now it's ready to pour into our dish i'm going to use this plastic knife but whatever you have or feel comfortable with a spatula is nice if you happen to have one of those but mine are all broken or dilapidated so we'll pour it in here and then we'll just kind of even it out a little bit They're ready to go in, same time. All right, so we're just gonna put these in. The oven's at 245, close enough. And we'll get there eventually, and they'll cook in the meantime, hey. All right, so like 30 minutes maybe, I don't know, but keep checking until they're kind of golden on the top, or maybe even a little brown, depending on your preference. And we'll come back to you then. I had an afterthought. It would really taste better with some onion in there. I'm not going to cut the onion up and put it in. Or you could put broccoli in or mushrooms. But I am going to throw some onion powder in there. So, you know, the good old professional cannibal pickle here. Just going to sprinkle that on it where it's already in the oven. And mix it around with my handy little you can knife. Add this too. Oh, oh! There we go. <laughs> add that to that. Mm, tasty. <laughs> that was courtesy of Rice Bowl. Mm -hmm. Chef so, Rice Bowl. Chef Rice Bowl. <laughs> Chef Rice Bowl. I'm kind of going to take out. Making it tasty and stinky. Mm -hmm. Alright, so mix that in there all pro like. Close back up. Now back to waiting. Okay, it is done. I usually cook this a little bit browner, but I'm starving, so I couldn't wait. So we are now going to go to a taste test with rice bowl. Mm. Taste test with rice bowl. It's gonna be hot though. Yes, hot indeed. I would say that's very good and just right. Okay. Yay! Use just a little bit more time, but that's you know one thing. Eh, I think it's good. Yeah, I definitely would normally cook it for like another ten minutes, but I was too hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You like it a little bit, a lot, a lot. Is it yummy? <laughs> I think it's yummy too.